Hi there! In this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a program called OmniDazzle which is a really neat program that you can use to enhance your mouse cursor. So we're going to talk about four things. I'm going to give you a brief overview about what OmniDazzle is and then I'll show you how to get it and how to use it and then maybe we'll talk about a couple of best practices that you can use it for. And before I forget I just want to credit um, someone else, Paul Anderson, in the Flip Class Network for introducing me to OmniDazzle as part of his really great tutorial on how to create an educational screencast. So what is OmniDazzle? It's a free program that you can use that allows you to enhance the appearance of your mouse uh, cursor and it gives you a variety of different modes which you can see if we take a look up here um, there are many different um, enhancement uh, modes that you can use for your mouse pointer. Some of them are really useful, like the flashlight one that I just used for you. Some of them, you know, like sonar, are just kind of weird. Uh, but there are a few especially uh, that we'll talk more about that I think uh, can really enhance the quality of your presentations and your screencasts. And as Paul says, now, some of them are even more powerful if you combine them with a pointing device like a tablet. So let's talk about where to get OmniDazzle again. Um, it's free and you can download it from the creators uh, named the Omni Group if you go to their website. And if you go there uh, you will see if you click on OmniDazzle and then scroll down to the bottom of the screen there's a download button and you can just click on that and follow your nose from there. Now the only downside uh, for those of you PC users out there, OmniDazzle only works on Mac OS X version 10.6.8 so if you're a Windows user then you're gonna have to find a different alternative to this. So once you have OmniDazzle, how does it work? Well, you will see that as I showed you before, uh, when you start the program and run it, it doesn't really seem to do anything except it leaves this icon up here, up at the top, and it also has a uh, icon that runs in your dock. And what both of those icons allow you to do is to choose which mode you want for your program. Now if you go up here, you just get a very uh, cursory list of different modes you can choose from and then you can pick the one you want and see what it does. That one's a little silly. So the uh, if you want more detail what you really need to do is to click on the icon down here and then you will get the full application window and this will allow you to click on each one. Um, it will give you a detailed description of what it does. It will give you a list of controls and it will also give you the ability to customize the configuration of uh, that tool um, more or less. It kind of depends on the tool, how much you can customize it. And then once you've done that, then all you have to do is go back to whatever it is you were doing and when you need it, just to hit the hotkey. Turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off. So now that we've seen how to use it, let's talk about some of the things that uh, OmniDazzle is good for. Um, one thing it's really great for in presentations is to use the flashlight mode to call attention to the parts of your screen that you want your users to see. Um, another feature which is really helpful, especially during screencasts, um, is to use the scribble mode. And if you combine that with a tablet, you can get the ability pretty easily to um, add your own text to enhance and annotate your slides, assuming you have better handwriting than me. Okay, so in summary, OmniDazzle allows you to add a little spice to your mouse pointer. It's free um, and it's relatively easy to use. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email me here or you can uh, tweet me if you have any questions. You can tweet me on Twitter um, and I will try to help you as best I can. Thanks so much.